latest chapter of Black Clover was a very interesting chapter due to the fact that Asta, he was finally able to master the technique that he has been struggling to master the past couple of chapters, and that is Zenten. Asta is finally able to master this technique and able to use it against one of the paladins that has the beast magic and the illusion magic that has been giving everyone a difficult time as they're facing against their fears. And Asta, he was able to face one of his biggest fears himself throughout this chapter, which was a kind of a huge breeze because we already saw that Asta figure out what was holding him back a couple of chapters ago when he was still doing his training while the rest of the reusen was battling against the five-headed dragon but the battle between asta and the beast paladin was a very quick fight throughout this chapter because right from the jump asta automatically know that the technique that the beast paladin was trying to use based on his fear was an illusion when he first arrived and saved ichika from her fear of her father so as of this moment asta automatically knew that this trick would not work especially since he saw that the beast went from taking the illusion from ichika's father to his own self and also automatically knew that this trick was just not going to work on him because one he's already self-aware of what this technique and also he overcome his own fear so while he overcome his own fear he just automatically didn't waste any time at all he didn't try to have this illusion to have the upper hand asta went in and cut the beast in half which really stunned the paladin because the paladin didn't think that Asta would be able enough to do this because he assumed that humans are weak no matter how strong and powerful you are because we already saw how this technique automatically work against the reusins because the reusins are the most powerful people in this country and look how easy he was able to take them out with his own illusions and with the help of the assist of the other paladins as well so of course he was thinking that if he's able to defeat Asta, then he'll get a large amount of blessing from Lucius from his own creator. But as of this time, it did not work. Thanks to his arrogance and his way of not understanding Asta's ability, he decided that, you know what, I'm going to finish him off with Beast Magic Holy Hunt. Well, this technique did not work at all because even though he was all over the place trying to hit Asta, Asta was very unfazed. Asta took his time and Asta was just examining the moment to actually strike against the Paladin. And he was able to use his technique, Zenten, which Ichika is actually stunned of how fast Asta became much stronger. And as of this moment, she was just like, how is he able enough to go ahead and defeat this monster? Because his Ryoku or his magic was just automatically just stopped because Asta anti-magic was able to nerf him and Asta was able enough to go ahead and cut down the beast paladin and we see his trainer he says the fool was just too worried about it all it didn't matter what kind of magic you got or how great it is as long as he can see through it at the right moment anti-magic will destroy anything without a doubt his anti-magic zenton will win in any face-off this is his strong counter as asta he is standing tall and this chapter illustrate that asta is finally back asta is have no doubt at all now we got asta the character who was very confident of his skills and his ability is finally has returned as this chapter indicate that asta has no more fears anymore 
Now this man is ready to go on ahead and challenge the world as he goes on ahead and master his technique and is able enough to go on ahead and have a kind of a full control over his anti-magic. As the last page of the chapter, we see Asta turning around and looking at Sister Lily as Sister Lily is stunned. Not only that, the fact that she's stunned that she sees one of her comrades has actually been defeated, but she's also stunned as well that Asta is just... And she failed to actually destroy Asta because she is stunned that Asta is still alive and actually at this location. So the chapter just ends as we're going to get a face off between Asta versus Sister Lily, which would be very interesting. But this chapter just heavily focused that Asta is finally back and Asta, he is out here for his revenge tour because Asta, after getting his ass whooped, his mental health being destroyed, his confidence being destroyed, and just realizing that he probably hit his limit, Asta finally has overcome himself and moved past it and actually was able to grow and to become a stronger. And this is a different Asta than we saw them before. And this is going to be a very, very interesting arc but let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this chapter and what are your guys' favorite moments about it and what you guys feel about the whole situation between Asta and the Beast Paladin. Let me know down in the comment section. If you guys do like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and remember, always be decent. This is the Monotone Man. And hope you guys have a wonderful day and be safe out here. Peace.